My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have a lot to pray for today. First of all, as we all know, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, has begun his pilgrimage to the Holy Land. So we want to accompany in prayer, accompany him in prayer, and we want to pray that his visit will give hope to all Christian people living there and also promote mutual respect for all religions and peoples in the region. So let's especially pray for that. But uh, let us also keep in our prayers the victims and their families of the terrible tragedy in Isla Vista, UC Santa Barbara. May God be present to all of them in this difficult time. And may your prayers bring the end of violence in our communities. Let's give them a prayer too. Then it is a Memorial Day weekend. So we pray also for all men and women in our armed forces who die fighting for freedom and peace and for their families. We also pray for all the men and women who are serving our country right now. May they also always feel the loving presence of our God. And then, as we all know today, we have the joy of uh, these uh, men and women who are receiving the sacrament of confirmation. So we especially pray for you, for your sponsors, your families, and for our cathedral parish. The Sacrament of Confirmation, as we all know, is a wonderful sacrament that will bring our brothers and sisters deeper into the reality of our Christian lives. In our Christian lives, we're walking every day with Jesus by our side. And we are always walking in the company of the Holy Spirit, who is given to all of us as a gift of God's love. He gives us this gift, first in baptism, when the Spirit is poured into our hearts, making us children of God. We receive these gifts again in confirmation, when the Spirit comes to place a special seal on our hearts, consecrating us to God's service of love. And I'm sure that you notice all the readings uh, of today's Mass that we just heard are about this gift of the Holy Spirit. Our readings today are helping us to renew our relationship with the Holy Spirit. It is a very important relationship in our Christian life, my dear brothers and sisters. Because we all uh, need to really experience that the Holy Spirit is real, that He's true, that He's powerful. He's not just an idea or a feeling. The Holy Spirit is a person, the third person of the Blessed Trinity. The Holy Spirit is God. That's what Jesus is telling us today in our Gospel passage. He tells us that the Holy Spirit is, is our advocate. The Spirit defends us and guides us and teaches us the true path for our lives. Sometimes we, we uh, need to reflect more on who we are, children of God, beloved sons and daughters of God the value of our life and our Christian vocation. And the Holy Spirit is the one who especially helps us to be aware of that. So in the readings of today's Mass, our first reading gives us a, a picture of what the sacrament of confirmation looked like in the early church. As we hear, the apostles prayed and laid hands on the people that St. Philip had baptized. And these people receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
Then they lay hands on them and they receive the Holy Spirit. And this is still happening in our time. The Church is still giving people these gifts of the Holy Spirit in the sacrament. Today, in a special way, to honor you, my brothers and sisters, receiving the sacrament of confirmation. So, there is a perfect continuity between what happened in the early Church and what is happening today, here, at the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. And every time that the sacrament of confirmation is celebrated, when we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, we receive the gift of living with God. We have the living God dwelling with us and in us. Jesus says today, because I live, you will live. I am in the Father, and you are in me, and I in you. We have a beautiful communion with God through the gifts of His Holy Spirit. The Spirit lives in our hearts, and through the Spirit we live in the heart of God. That's why today is so special for all of you, because in a special way, you have the grace today to be aware that God is with you and that you are walking every single second of your lives with God, as we all do. Then St. Paul tells us in today's second reading, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. That means we have to make Jesus the center of our lives. We have to keep his commandments. As Jesus says in today's passage of the gospel, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Living the commandments, we will find the joy and love that God wants for all of us. The joy of the people of Samaria, as the Acts of the Apostles tell us in our first reading. So let us always remember that in our Christian journey, we are never alone. God is always with us. He's always helping us. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, as St. Paul asked us in the second reading of today's Mass. What a beautiful day. We are more aware and reflect on the beauty of the action of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So this week, as we prepare the, for the solemnities of the Ascension and Pentecost in the next two weeks, let us ask for the grace to renew our devotion to the Holy Spirit. Let us ask Him to renew His gifts within us. Let us ask Him to inflame our hearts with love and to fill us with joy and peace. May our Blessed Mother, Spouse of the Holy Spirit, help us to remain open to the Holy Spirit so that we can grow in our Christian lives and serve God and our brothers and sisters in joy and love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.